Hey guys, last year I showed you how to do a hair bow where the hair bow is situated on top of the head. Now I'm going to show you version 2 which is the half up and half down bow and it also has a little ribbon but of course if you don't like the ribbon look I'll show you how to get rid of it. So if you guys want to learn how to do this then keep on watching. To start you want to brush your hair, part the top half of it and tie it in place with a hair tie. Then grab your favorite heat protectant here I'm using Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray and spray your ponytail. Brush your hair to distribute the product and wait a minute for the product to dry. Take a strand from the top and pin it above just to keep it out of the way for now. This is going to be the center of the bow for later. Divide your ponytail into two equal parts and pin one of the sections out of the way. Then you want to grab your favorite curling iron here. I'm using my Babyliss Tourmalin and Ceramic Curling Iron with a one and a quarter inch barrel. And you want to curl your ponytail inwards. This will make creating the bow a lot easier. And then you want to do it to the other side as well. And it's really easy to curl inwards. Just get the curling iron and make sure the clip is facing you and then wrap your hair around it. To create the bow, you want to give your hair some volume, so what I'm doing is I'm going to tease each section and then spray it with hairspray. Then you want to gather your hair and wrap it inwards to create the bow. And when you have it in a nice shape, just grab some bobby pins and pin the back of the bow to the back of your head. Press your bow behind your head and pin the top as well. I usually put two bobby pins below and two above just to keep it in place. Use hairspray to give it a glossy look and grab a brush and brush out the flyaways. When that's done, do the exact same thing to the other side. Now if your teeth does look a bit messy, just grab a brush and brush it down before you create your bow. Slide in the last bobby pin and spray the other side with hairspray. Then you want to take the top strand that we left out in the beginning and pull it down right in the middle of the bow. Then just slide a bobby pin at the bottom to hide it. So here is the finished look with the bow and the ribbon. I personally think it's super kawaii but if you don't like it, I'll show you how to get rid of the ribbon. First off, tease the bottom and then gently wrap it around and tuck it right inside the bow. Then you want to grab some bobby pins and pin it down to keep it in place. I always back comb the hair because I find that it makes the hair stiff and that makes it stay in place even better. Then of course you want to do the exact same thing to the other side. Alright guys, so here's the hair bow without the ribbon. It looks a little bit less fancy but it's still cute. Which look do you guys prefer, the one without the ribbon or the one with the ribbon? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you later. Bye!